Alright guys, what's up? It's your boy Jacob. We are back playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I'm trying to remember what happened last time. All so... his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What happened last time? Because last time it was a two-parter because the video ended up being like an hour long. So it was long enough for me to divide it into two. But this time. So what? Okay, what happened? All right. Okay. So, okay. So the first time we didn't go in there. The second part, we did go in there. <laughs> There's two outlets. <laughs> There's two outlets for two new signs. It's funny. Do I go? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this whole thing's going to be covered by the end of the thing. It's funny. There's two new signs, and he has two out. Oh, that's great. That's comedic. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, <laughs> I have something very exciting to show you. All right. What is it? So there was a skip button last time. That's what it was. What we got this time? We're going to get new, new, new content soon? Or is that too far? Am I thinking too ahead? I'm looking too far into the future here. Oh, am I not supposed to? Looks like there's a you see, little sir, area over there. I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark. And right. any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Correct. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Maybe this is what we yes, need. You see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Oh. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. Yeah. This is what fans have truly been asking for. I mean, that's technically what people were asking for was Stanley Parable 2. But, I mean, we still got it, but this is really what they wanted. This is really, really what they wanted. The end is never the end again. Four, two, seven. I like that. That should have been like, like a little like, uh, like hint. They should have just posted that on like Steam or something and just put four, two, like in red and then seven. Just leave people with that and they'd get so excited oh yeah that, that imagine if it was called the Stanley Parable 2 that'd be pretty cool I, I'm okay with Ultra Deluxe though. calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe don't you think yeah Ultra Deluxe yeah. what does it even mean but the Stanley Parable 2 now that's an artistic statement right there it is it's future oriented it screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential sound like he was about to cry this was okay so we got What's going on here? Um, or TSP, bear TSP, and the color red, covered, stick value, and a gravel too. Okay, <laughs> two ferns. Yes, from the, yeah. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable Two is going to be. But okay. let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, 
that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. Surely. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Okay. He's really trying to figure out a logo. <laughs> <And blame him. gasps> Red carpet. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. How how's everyone doing? Oh, let me pose. Hello. Narrator. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a theme. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. And that includes. Ooh, is that me, Stanley? That's all the new content. Can I buy some merch, please? Oh boy. Is my phone going off? All right, guys. Sorry. Got distracted. My phone went off. Where am I going, by the way? I want to explore a little. Hold on. Okay. There's like a hub. Can I go in? A lot of that's new. Free, new, plus easy achievement. What is collectibles? Exit, jump circle. Oh, I don't want to go to the jump circle. Hope I can go back. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable lives. What the fuck? What the fuck is up with this? Fucking terrifying. A collectible! Kind of terrifying, I'm gonna be honest. Ooh. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Okay. Uh, infinite hole. It won't end. Um, I bet you I can make it end. How infinite can it be, right? What is this? Full entrance infinite. Oh, cool. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Wait, forever? Falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Oh. Oh, well. Here goes nothing. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, yeah, pretty since you've ingenious. gotten to see the infinite hole, That's you can cool. press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Oh no, why would I do that? Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back Why? to the top. Why? Why? on the sooner rather than later spectrum of Why? Things. No. It's fun. I enjoy falling down holes. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep <laughs> hole? Oh. <laughs> certainly do. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? <laughs> well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the in great. Now, 
I'm very excited <laughs> to show you even more of my ideas for the no. sequel. Okay, and I guess we're back in the hole. <laughs> Did you really need to see it again? Yeah. I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite O. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spend quite a lot of time on all this. It's like a skate ramp. I'm really going in like circles. To you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again so we can get back to what's really important about. Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. Cigarettes? Honest, Who's smoking? I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come on. Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. It was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole. And I kind of enjoyed down here. No. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, uh, narrator. Do you think you could toss down like a bag of Skittles or something? I don't like Skittles. Pass down a bag of M&Ms. No, they're not actually that terrible for you if you only have like one bag. Not that bad for you. Narrator. Hey, M&M's, maybe some orange slices. Narrator. Yeah, right Narrator. All right, fine. Again. Oh, for heaven! You see, I was right. The problem is you. <laughs> the problem is that you like holes too much. I love a normal. A normal oh. person would have said, "Yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of." Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Look what I can do. Wow. So fun. Like I'm a rotisserie chicken. Oh, rotisserie chicken, guys. Fuck. Go. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where. Motherfucker. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with. I can't get out though. At this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Son is of a the, bitch. Um, teleport button not working. You sure? Well, I mean. I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing? Well, I suppose... I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Do not. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. 
You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. Where are you? Why are you dissipating? Like, are you walking away from your fucking microphone? I'm convinced she's through just through like the speakers and the ceilings or some shit. Um. What the fuck is that? Where are we going? Hello? No! Just gonna keep going. <sighs> My fucking heart. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm being sexy with it. I like this perspective. Coraline's brother? A Jacksepticeye buff? What the fuck is that? Oh, I'm on the beach. Stonehenge. Error. Everyone sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? Okay. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Why? I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. It's one of I'll us. Be back. Here we go again. So it's not going to take me to the beginning. Good. This is the beginning now. Yes. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay. Exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. I don't know if I like that. Hear your name in the game. Okay. 
But yet but here I am. Too, I ask myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? You know, Chad, I really like that. I think that's a really cool concept. That's a really great concept, Billy. But... I don't know if I like it. <laughs> really, to be honest, it's kind of scary. A tad, a tad terrifying. It's a tad. Wait, what? Could read that. Okay, button. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the <laughs> final game, this button will say your name. Okay, okay, yeah. That is. Here, right. let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience oh, okay, okay. of this feature. Yep. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Jim. I, I am want Jim. You to imagine yourself living as Jim. I am sleeping Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, oh. watching your dreams crumble into dust. Oh, okay. Do you feel it deeply? Are you I really can do that anyway. Jim right now? I've if always so, been. Then please step forward and press the button. Or press the button. <laughs> yep, I'm Jim. Yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The Me. button described you. Do it again. Do it again. If I don't, huh? What are you going to do then? I just leave. Okay. Jim. Oh. It hits That's even me. harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Honestly. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes Jim. a person can Jim. be too Jim. much Jim. Jim. I'm Jim. putting the gym button Jim. away. Jim. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll start to lose all sense of who you Jim. actually Jim. are. Jim. Jim, one more time. I do appreciate this concrete wall behind. There's a gym button somewhere. Feel it in my ass. Jim. There's another gym button somewhere, I know it. Just story really too. You're not gonna let me in. That's fucked. It's real fucked. We're I back. suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. These are screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get Well <laughs> Someday it is. Uh... Okay. Guess my opinion does not matter. Actually, maybe I should have gone with no. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Okay. That's for the infinite hole. New easy free shit achievement. Oh. Must oh did that say three? Oh two. Okay. Achievement would get yours right now. Pull the lever, receive your achievement, no more steps, good works. 
Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is oh still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. To at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans, so this isn't the world, sequel who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. What if I just keep doing it, huh? What if I just keep doing it? What you gonna do then, narrator? It's gotta be in there. Come on, I know you got it in you. Pause. Should say it like that. Maybe I should. It's in there, I know it. Just gotta work hard to get it. Try to fuck you, narrator. Alright. Yes, turn the pipe to make this work. Um, that scared me a little bit. Alright, well, I tried. It's over here. Or nothing. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks, narrator, for the achievement, I guess. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen? The jump yet? circle! I love the jump circle. I love like the Perfect. style, like the Let's bring museum the style this is. Back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. So I would oh, have some if oh I did. Well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Uh, my jump circle! It was such a I really wanted to jump, man. If I had known, would I actually have jumps remaining if I hadn't? That's what I want to know. I think that's it for this little area. Over here, what about this? As red as the new orange. No, don't say that. 